We now know the names of three people the police say were involved in a double homicide suicide. 18-year-old Jenna Leakey and 20-year-old Haley Nelson were found shot to death on Kensington Boulevard last night. 20-year-old Tyler Turner was discovered in a home about a block away, dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts is live outside the home on Pemberton Drive. Kelly? This at this home, it's where a long night ended for neighbors here on Pemberton Drive. It started earlier in the evening when they heard gunshots, a woman's screams, and then found two people shot to death a block away. Neighbors here on Pemberton Drive weren't sure what startled them at first last night. Their first thought, firecrackers. But when they heard a scream, they realized what was happening. They thought no, that's a gun. And then I heard a girl scream. Uh, we were all sitting in watching TV. We heard what we thought were gunshots and then more gunshots. And uh, go to the door and we hear girls screaming. The gunshots started on Pemberton Drive, but then two girls were found shot. One dead, one in critical condition, who died soon after, a block west on Kensington Boulevard. Then a few hours later, police tried to negotiate with the man inside a Pemberton Drive house. When there was no answer, they went inside and found the man dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police are now investigating it as a double homicide suicide. There's nothing to suggest that uh, there's anyone else involved at this point in time. With the help of several people in the neighborhood, police were able to piece together the two young women were in a car outside the Pemberton Drive home when they were shot at. They got out and started running toward Kensington Boulevard while the shots were still being fired. The neighbor over here saw um, the guy actually shooting and running across the street. One of the other guys saw him run back towards the house. I have always said when we get good information, we're able to have a clear picture of what took place. Police are still trying to piece together the relationship between the three, but they say it's likely going to end up being a domestic situation. Live in Fort Wayne, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.